vast acreage of sugarcane plantations dot the rolling landscape of Masindi district. Smart Start Industries East Africa Limited is now in an ambitious drive to enhance on value addition out of this resource. I have invested close to $1.7 million on this project. The bulk of that money came from the banks. They allowed me to peg my revenue from sugarcane to the repayments, loan repayments. There I find it comfortable. With 640 acres of sugarcane plantations, this enterprise believes in the robust economies of forward and backward linkages. But we would want to expand that to 1,000, and we are going to do it. We have the means, and we can do it. We have the potential, we can do it. And mark you, we're not relying on only our sugarcane. Outgrowers have got a lot of sugarcane around, and it's a matter of tapping it. They cut it, we pick it. We have got a fleet of 10 tractors together with their trailers, and it's a matter of alerting us that the cane is cut, and we take it. Together with his core director, Maggie BNC, they have a dedicated team led by technical experts who assist in driving value addition out of sugarcane juice. We are here to, mainly to guide, to direct the, the, the workforce, see where they go, to make sure that they do the right things. But otherwise the plant is run by the manager himself. Um, the manager is uh, a trained chemist and he's uh, assisted by an assistant manager who is in charge of mainly the boiler and partly the fermentation. Uh, below them we have got other support staff like uh, the straw keeper, we have him there, the security, we have got the fermenters, we have got the distillers, and so on and so on. We produce ethanol from cane juice and cane molasses. Currently, our first stage is uh, the cane crushing to extract juice from the cane, after which we treat the juice and send it to the fermenters for fermentation. In the fermentation we have two stages. Uh, the stage one is the pre-fermentation stage and stage two is the fermentation stage. In the pre-fermentation stage, we culture the yeast in the pre-fermenter under opt optimum conditions until we achieve a yeast cell count of 2 times 10 power 8 cells per mill. That's when the culture is ready to, for transfer to, to the fermenter. And at the same time in the fermenter we feed the treated juice after cooling it and also diluted molasses. At the end of the fermentation, the beer contains 8 to 9 percent alcohol. After the fermentation, the beer is pumped to distillation section for the distillation to start to strip alcohol from the beer. We have a well-equipped laboratory that does the monitoring and testing for both, for all, from raw material reception, process control, and the final product. This industrial facility also has an automated and manual fire generation unit that is used to produce energy needed for onward heating of these imposing boilers which contain thousands of liters of sugarcane juice. We are, boi we are boiling water to generate steam which is helping in distillation purposes. And on this particular side where the boiler is, 
there are two systems of operation. We have the automatic and manual system. Uh, like now, as you are standing here, the boiler is running automatic. Whereby the boiler itself, it can be able to feed water by itself. It can be able to cut the steam by itself while it reaches the maximum level we need. And while it drops, the boiler restarts by itself. Then we have various operators, like as the other side you are seeing operators who are carrying out their operation exercises, whereby they are feeding the boiler with bagasse, firewood and soda, whereby they mix so that they can be able to maintain the high level of steam that we need for the purpose of distraction. Also, behind me you can be able to see we have uh, the another side whereby we also use the conveyor in feeding to the boiler system, especially where we are having fine particles like the fine sawdust. This distillery delivers thousands of liters of ethanol needed for further industrial processes across Uganda. The ethanol we produce is neutral spirit, which has a specification from National Bureau of Standards. For us, we produce it as a raw material for other industries. Among the latest investments at Smart Start Industries East Africa is this new ethanol distillery unit. All we need is a crusher, a crusher that can handle 200 tons of cane per day, and that will give us sufficient juice. It is another 300,000. That raises the value of the plant to two million dollars. I need a dehydrator to turn the spirit to um, ethanol. That's another 300,000. That's already now 2.3. And maybe a few other small, small things. I would be able to get the whole project running at 2.5 million dollars and I get what I want. Among the broad vision that Smart Start Industries East Africa holds so dearly going forward is the production of fuel ethanol. VNC believes this will ultimately become a game changer for Uganda's economy that needs to mitigate its import worth billions of shillings daily on fuel products. If we produce ethanol, ethanol will be a substitute for petrol. Petrol is being imported, so government will save foreign exchange. That is one. Two, when you look at the uh, ethanol production, it is green in nature. No carbon dioxide emissions. It is, no, it is natural, it is organic. Beyond sugarcane cultivation that is broadly being undertaken across Uganda's sugar belts, Smart Start Industries believes in enhancing environmental safeguards. BNC emphasizes on the need to strengthen the expansion of such mature forests as a critical carbon sink within the industrial operational area and beyond, thus improving the air quality benefit across the communities within Masindi district. These trees produce oxygen. We know that very well. They absorb carbon dioxide. We have close to 140 acres of woodland. We want to protect the woodland, we want to promote it because we need it and that way we keep the environment green. Smart Start Industries is also involved in a wide range of improved water and sanitation initiatives for their internal requirements as well as for the community who now have access to clean piped water from the investors' well-protected source. We supply water to the surrounding community. They don't go to the spring well anymore. They get water from here, directly from me here. We contribute to schools. We contribute to other organizations like churches and uh, mosques. And so we repair the roads. Smart Start Industries East Africa has over the last 10 years broadened its provision of employment opportunities both directly and indirectly to the community. Employment will increase from 140 to most likely 180. That is in addition to the 120 workers that I have in the plantation. That's already 300. 
those are the ones that I am employing directly. We have got people who are supplying here commodities like food, materials, wedding materials, uh, firewood, uh, all sorts of, you name it. And as Smart Start Industries East Africa moves into its third and probably fourth decade in business, BNC highlights some of the diversification drives. When you look at the bagasse that we shall produce from the plant, that bagasse saves a lot of energy, a lot of firewood. We shall not be using firewood, we shall be using bagasse. We are already using bagasse. Actually, we are using very little firewood. 10 to 20 percent is what we're using as firewood. The rest is bagasse. That's the way to go. What we are saying is that we want to add value to our produce. 